Okay. Now this is, what is this? This is my pantry or can and kitchen or whatever you like to call it. Call it. Where you have my favorite thing look at her popcorn and her walnuts but over here you have homemade chicken stock tomato soup self a vegetable soup dried carrots cucumber pickles look at all those different kinds of cucumber pickles jellies jams chutneys what is that barbecue, barbecue sauce, sauce peppers here we actually have uh well, actually, there's something I could send you home with. Uh-oh. What are you going to send me home with? Would you like a... What's that? This is a blackcurrant. Actually, it's meant to be a blackcurrant juice, but I think it jellied. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I was too heavy-handed with it. Yeah, it's not going to work as a juice. <laughs> I'll have to deal with that. I will give you some blackcurrant jelly, though. Ooh. Do you like blackcurrant jelly? Oh, I love blackcurrant jelly. <gasps> blackcurrant jelly. Thank you. And how do you do your preservings? Because you're about to do something wonderful. These are nasturtiums. Yeah, I'm going to pickle those. Ah, and what was that? Those are beef stock. That you've done. And these are? Apricot jelly. <gasps> wow. And you, all these tools are all, this is your pantry yeah. for preserving and you've yeah. got just buckets of jars. <laughs> and you're about to also do tomatoes. I saw a massive basket of tomatoes. Yeah, I have a space ready for them. <laughs> a and these are all tomatoes you grew in your yes. polytunnel. Yep, exactly. So, I mean, it is just... Yeah. I am a woman of... Oh, I'm not going to forget this, by the way. I'm taking this home with me. I Oh, what are those? They're actually, they're getting really good. Do you hear them? That's actually hops. So hops is what they use to make beer. And you're making some beer? So, well, I'm drying them because otherwise they'll go moldy and I don't really know what to do with them next. But we'll work it out. If they're dried, they're stable. I'll be able to put them in a jar and decide at a later date. What, what do you do want them. to do with them? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's just, you are, oh, and look at your fresh eggs up there. Oh, I had the egg box for a while, but then people would just take the eggs and not leave any money. So I thought, well, I'd rather give people that I like the eggs than and have people, have people not bother paying me for them yeah not like you'd ask for no much, but it's, no it's just to help pay for the feed you know but this is wonderful so you do a lot of your own preserving and cooking in here mm -hmm. and i mean it is just magnificent with these and you were showing me um online the machine used for this and you're going to start doing I Online was, courses? Well, well, we'll look at it in the future. <laughs> sure I have to perhaps refine my technique a bit more and know more. If I'm going to try and help people learn, I need to be an expert in my field because canning um, foods like that, it's not the same as making jams or chutneys where you have something like the high sugar content or the high vinegar or high salt that will preserve the food. When you're dealing with canning and um, you're heating foods to a very high temperature to prevent the growth of botulism which will kill you so if you don't do it properly it's a very, there's a very real risk so you need to kind of know what you're doing and you've been doing it for your own pantry so I've been doing it for my own pantry i've been experimenting with different things i've been successfully even making mixes for the dogs that was you know um, a, a mix with mints and that kind of thing. It didn't kill the dogs, so but they kind of have iron stomachs. So yeah, that's probably not something. To so, how many years about. have you been doing this for? Only the last two years. Only the last two years. Yeah. So I've been, you know, able to do chicken stock. I love because I used to make chicken stock and freeze it. But obviously, if I can get stuff out of the freezer, that frees up a lot of room. Yeah. So I've kind of. I've and these been, are also from your own chickens. You were, they were, some you, they were your own chickens, chickens that yeah. you, yeah. Uh, your own chickens or your own turkeys. You've done a lot of this homegrown, yeah. home cooking. Yeah. And that's why you kind of got into the preserving. Was so it didn't have to fill the deep freeze. Also, you want to make the very best use out of everything. So that means when you've eaten the chicken, 
you know, if you can get further good out of the bones and out of the offal and the other bits that you don't really want to eat, um, I'm, you know, making a stock, there's nothing better. For oh, me. I love, I'm, I make my own chicken stock, stock and it is so delicious. And then it's the base for so many different soups yeah. and stews and all kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. And here I have it ready on the shelf to be thrown into a pot. And yeah. so this is one of your, or one of the ones that you're really learning about. Oh, look, apple pie fillings. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, and yeah. rhubarb pie fillings. And the, because these were, you know, I discovered that you can actually boil the bones more than one time. Oh, as well. wow. So this, say, you'll notice is a darker color yeah. to this. Yes. So this I would use, say, when I'm making rice. You can use the stock as the water for the rice. Oh, yes. And you're still getting the goodness out of is it. Is that the second boil of bones? But that's the third boil. Third so boil. you can see the difference in color. Wow. But there's still yeah. good stuff in there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vitamins, minerals, with, and with all these, kinds of things. With these, they're nearly, they're nearly jellyish. There's yeah. so much gel, gel, gelatin and in them. and all that good stuff. Yeah. So, you know, it's a learning curve for sure. No, it's absolutely um, fascinating. Yeah. Okay. It's amazing to be able to use stuff as well instead of it going, well, you can bring this home as well. That's an apple pie filling. <gasps> Woo! And actually, do you have porridge? For, no, you don't have porridge for don't breakfast. I don't do porridge for breakfast. But it's but very good in porridge. No, well, no, I found like some gluten-free puff pastry. Oh, that would also be very so good. So I could do little puff pastry gluten-free thingamabobbies. I just have to learn. I have to get my friend Alma to come and hold my hand as I make them because I'm not very good with puff pastry. And she's very good at puff pastry. You going to make the puff pastry or buy no, it? No, 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 no. It's bought puff pastry. Yeah, I'm course. a pathetic That's my creature. Point. Of course. <laughs> they make it so well and sell it. Why the hell would you go the, to the effort? <laughs> it's the gluten-free puff pastry as well, being a celiac. Well, this is magnificent storage. Look, if we're, if and we're your all, jerky. I loved your jerky. We're all friends and we're coming clean. Yeah. I also have a stash of pastry and short crust in the freezer. And it's ready if I want to make, say, a quiche or a pie or whatever. But look, I'm going to be very obnoxious friend, okay? Yes. She introduced me to this earlier. Do you like pasta? This is her, this is her homemade jerky. Beef like jerky. Do I what? Pesto. I love pesto. Okay, well here, that's a dinner for you. Oh, I'm wow. Sure a few dinners. It's definitely gluten-free. There's hazelnuts. Parmesan, olive oil, basil, garlic, uh, but there's no flowery anything in there. Do you want some? I'm struggling with closing it. Here, do you want to bring some stuff home? Here, we do. Oh, wow. We have. God, I'm, I'm, I've got a shopping trip done. Wow. You're going to. What is it? It's a reusable Ziploc bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, not too many. I don't want to. Deplete your fantastic um, storage so, pantry shelves. It's just so good for you, right? Mmm. Pure protein. Oh, absolutely. They're so good, and they're gluten free. And these walnuts are from your walnut tree. Yeah. I should have eaten them, but I just thought they looked pretty, so I kept them instead. <laughs> You didn't sew them like me. I'm mad for sewing my walnuts and not even eating them or storing them to look pretty. <laughs> I sew all my walnuts. And do they come up, yeah? Yeah. They come up when I collect them, when I beat the squirrels to them. Oh, well, that's always a good thing, isn't it? This is so funny. It's a squirrel storage container. <laughs> Thank you. I'm set. You're very welcome. Very welcome. Sorry, 